What a thumbnail. The things we do for thumbnails. Come on, go It's Naya and I'm back with another video. Today guys, I'm going to be filming the start of a new series I want to do called Tea Time with Naya. Basically what I want to do with the series is I want to make me a cup of tea. I have it down here. I'll show you in a minute. During the video, I'm going to be talking about a controversial topic. Hopefully this video does good because I really want to keep doing stuff like this because I like to, you know, express myself and express my opinion. And a lot of people enjoy my longer story time about when I got scammed and robbed. I want to do incorporate like more talking videos and you know, stuff like that. So, with that being said... Welcome. And today's topic will be colorism. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that's hot. That's hot for real. I'm going to try to try a different tea every time I film a video like this. But this tea is chamomile tea. Every time I make tea, I put a cough drop, brown sugar, and honey in it. <laughs> Anyways, okay. So first of all, so I just so no one won't be confused. Colorism is the discrimination. This is via Google. It's on skin color, also known as shadism. Before I spill the tea, I don't want anybody to take this as offensive. Don't take this to heart and then like oh also if you guys want me to do like current event type tea time with nine videos then i can do that too but like they have to be like really good so basically okay. colorism really rooted from in slavery but, like the lighter skinned females were taken like on a higher stance than the darker skinned females and then now in society you see it every day in, in social media and music and tv and television shows like and if you don't know then let me just show you some examples and like songs you have the red bone reference that means you have to be light skinned if she too dark i don't want her like i'm just making up lyrics at this point but like it just usually sounds a little bit like that and a big thing for colorism i cannot stand when people tell me oh you're pretty for a dark skin girl nobody has told me that recently but I used to get that a lot, especially sometimes by adults too. I'll put some more examples right here on the screen of like colorism in like the media. I remember having a conversation with this boy I know and I I asked him his type. We were having a conversation about females or whatever because we were like really close. He goes light skin with blonde curly hair. I was literally like, like I, that literally blew me you guys. Like not because I was offended or anything. It's just like... How can your, like, taste be so, like, you know, I'm not ba bashing anybody's taste or preference because you like what you like, but, like, the fact that his was so specific and spot on, and it's just like, mind you guys, this is the same boy that says all this stuff to me, says I'm cute and all, but, like, wouldn't date me because I'm dark skin. Bruh. Look at this dude. Type. That's the type of situation. Like, wow. Like, that's really how we rocking. That's how we rocking. Mm, okay. Let me let my dog out my room. Okay, so now I'm about to get a little bit personal with y'all. Okay? Well, if you didn't know, my best friend Alyssa. This is her. She's more like a sister now. Like, I still use the term best friend and bestie a lot, but you know, like, it just gets to a point. Really not best friend. You're like sisters. Like, anyways, this is besides the point. We've been best friends for nine years. Something that really blows me. It never fails. Back in middle school, people will always say, like, oh, like, y'all best friends, but I like Alyssa more because she's like skin type. I don't like to get personal or like reminisce on the past because like I don't care because I'm a baddie now. I used to get like not bully. How do I explain it? I was at the like bottom of the totem pole because of my skin color. Oh my gosh, something else was my eyes and my forehead. I'm grown into my features. Yeah, my eyes were too big for my face. I'm really the type of person where I don't care about what anybody thinks about me in a negative way, and like. So it really doesn't affect me anymore, but like people literally to this day will talk about my eyes and talk about my forehead and just like, okay. You know, it's just one of those things like it gets old. But yeah, throughout middle school, I will always feel like the bottom of the tone pole because like, all the boys would look at like the light skinned girls first. You know, you have common sense and you're not dumb, you're gonna notice. It would never be anything serious because middle school was never anything serious at all. Still, it would make me feel some type of way because always comments about like you black as and all always saying like I look like an African child. I can't even count how many times I heard that. Or like if you turn the lights off you won't be able to see her. Like no sh 
Sherlock. In my head, it's not even mean. It's like ignorant. Like, why are you saying this to me? Colorism is like a really toxic mindset. Like, for example, you have Bianca and whoever else. She painted her body to be dark skin and like she was acting all ghetto. Like, first of all, you're black. So, if you're trying to depict a black person, why do you have to be darker skinned to be ghetto? You know, she's not even cute anyway, so I don't really know what, um, I don't know. Like, take Lil' Kim, for example. Let me just Google this real quick so I can just show y'all. Okay, y'all, that was all for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, help me hit 1k before the end of the year. Comment down below, please, topics you guys want me to talk about. Um, follow my social medias at 9 and 8 on all platforms. Yeah, um, I'll talk to y'all later.